welcome. The title is Gentleman Boozer Tastings. And um, uh, my season one episode was, of course, about California distilleries. And I was, my eyes were opened as to what clean alcohol tastes like. Uh, craft distilling is uh, growing quickly in this country. And if you think about uh, craft brewing compared to a lot of other commercial brewers, it's kind of in that same vein. You know, the craft distillers, you know, the big boys, they just, they just can't compete. And that's just the way it is. They're a little bit harder to find. You may have to go a little bit local. Uh, you may not, for example, California distilleries, you probably will have a hard time finding it in other areas of the country. But I do know they are expanding their operations. So you may see a bottle on your shelf away from uh, Southern California on the East Coast, the Midwest. So if you do see it, I highly recommend you giving it a shot. Now, today I am trying the uh, unaged corn whiskey, 100 proof, as you can tell by the giant 100 there in the label. And as you can tell by the amount of alcohol in this bottle, it is one that I like very much. Um, the thing about a 100 proof alcohol, it almost o always has that overwhelming hospital smell sort of uh, sort of a punch in the face almost. This does not have that even a little bit. And when when you smell it, the only thing that I really get is just that there's just a real nice sweet corn aroma uh, to it is the only way I can really put it. And there are not a lot of 100 proof uh, spirits that I can sip it with just one ice cube. And that to me is a mark of a good, good spirit. If I'm only putting one ice cube in there, that means there's quality. That means it's good. So we've got one ice cube. Now, as a 100 proof spirit, there's definitely there's definitely a little kick in there toward the end. You definitely feel it. There's a little heat. However, it is not that normal punch in the face that you normally get with uh, you know uh, lower quality spirits. Um, the Tiller family takes a great deal of time and effort. Uh, to, they, they described the three phases of distilling. There's the heads, which is basically poison. You can run a tractor on it, or you can clean stainless steel, or it can make you blind if uh, the rumors are true from, from uh, Prohibition. If Jessica, the daughter, uh, was, her, her first story was accurate, then there's the hearts. That's the good part. And then there's the tails. And a lot of times when you open up a bottle of scotch or, or spirits in general, you get a little bit of that hospital smell, as they call it. And that means there's tails in there. And the tails, that's the stuff that gives you the headaches, the hangovers, the et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you just, you just don't get any of that, even in this 100 proof spirit this is just a quality, 100 proof corn whiskey, unaged, that I enjoy sipping with one, just one ice cube. I actually, I had to, I had to hold back because I was going to finish this bottle off. There's not a lot left in here, but I had to hold off so that I had something to talk about and taste uh, during this particular program, so... This moonshine is something special. You know, you think of moonshine, you think it tastes like gasoline, and it's if it's well made, it's just not true. And this is a fantastic 100 proof corn whiskey. Very clean, just, I can't say enough about it. I love it. Now, if you like this video, if uh, 
please like, please share, and of course, please subscribe. I don't really drink vodka. I'm not a vodka person. I'm much more of a bourbon person. But everything else has been so good. I just picked up a brand new bottle of vodka today. I'm going to open it here uh, and just uh, in the next couple of days. And uh, we're going to, we'll taste it together. Thanks for watching.